Hey everyone, it's Alexis. If you didn't know, I started KB as a YouTube channel in December, so I'm pretty new to this whole thing. But I want to have a variety of content. I don't always want to just showcase me doing my art, so here's a simple, simple video that I think will also help you guys as well. Today I'm going to be talking about popular art ideas. So these are things that I've seen on pretty much every platform, specifically like TikTok, I've even seen like Etsy sellers, and I just think that these are very simple things to get into. Something that you don't really have to put a lot of money into, but at the same time, it's a good place to start. The first thing is stickers. Honey. People love stickers. Me personally, I'm not a sticker type of girl, even though I like stickers. I didn't know the sticker community was like that extreme. People love stickers. I don't know why, but they do. They love small stickers. They love big stickers. They love stickers that are just cartoony things. They love stickers with sayings, motivational sayings. They just love stickers for any type of occasion. I've seen people do sticker decor on their laptop cases, on their water bottles. Some people just put them on their face. <laughs> people like to put them on their cars and stuff. People also use them for like their bullet journaling and all that. Speaking of that, my second point is washi tape. People love washi tape and like I personally like washi tape because I think it's very pretty especially compared to like traditional forms of tape but at the same time I did not know the washi tape community was that deep. I don't know a single stationary small business that doesn't sell washi tape so if you are able to print your art on washi tape do that. That may not be as affordable as other methods because I do think you would have to have a manufacturer for that unless you just know how to do it yourself but that's something that once you start your business, if you want to add that too, I think it's a great idea. Next idea is crochet crafts, baby. The crochet community is so deep, especially on YouTube and TikTok. People love crochet, especially the crochet plushies. Personally, I love them too, but um, <clears throat> the way this economy is set up, I can't always support my crochet sisters and brothers. But I say for like a good handmade product, if you want to support a small business or Nessie Nessie or whatever, I would definitely say invest in one of those. I've seen animal plushies. I've seen like people plushies. I've seen people with stuff like, I don't know, like Harry Potter. And it's something that is cute. And I think for me, when I look at a lot of art crafts that sell, it's mainly like young adults or either grandparents that want to get their children something. But either way, it's always kind of like in this general younger, but still like an adult age range i think it's very interesting because i think a lot of people are still trying to tap into their inner child and that's just like a very simple way to do so another thing is selling canvas art so if you're an artist you probably learn the basics of art like drawing and or painting or something like that so if it's something that you like that's more traditional art i mean you can honestly buy a very cheap canvas from like dollar tree they have them sometimes if you can just get like a few cheaper canvases and like paint them go to the flea market some for whatever I mean, hey, that's something to do. So again, if you like something that's more straightforward, especially if you're like a painter or anything like that, I would definitely say try something like that. Or if you can't afford actual canvas, you can just get higher quality paper. Something that's not like cardstock and is definitely not like copy paper, but something that's a little bit more sturdy. That way, if you can't find canvases at like a cheaper outlet, like again, Dollar Tree or whatever, and you don't want to pay for like the price at Michael's or Joann's, I can completely understand that. I would just say get a high grade paper and just kind of work on that people will buy it another thing i've really been seeing the last few months is punch needle crafts if you don't know what punch needle crafts are it's like you get yarn and then you have this like technique where you like really like literally punch it into some type of like fabric it's very interesting. I've seen them as coasters. People have also been getting into like other little things like you can make bags out of them, but, but I've mainly seen them as coasters. It's very, very popular and I've seen that significantly more in 2023. People are still doing it now. And I've seen like different punch needle videos on YouTube and TikTok. They've been performing like significantly better as time has progressed. I would say it's almost as deep as like the crochet community at this point. So if you're looking for something to try, I think that's nice. Again, that one may not be as affordable as some of the other ones, but if you're willing to take that risk and it's something that you're interested in, I would definitely say go for it. It seems really fun. Another point is printed art. So printed art could be art prints themselves, which again, you can put on high quality grade paper. Usually people go to a print shop and get them done, but some people do it at home. Also, I've seen people put their art on like t-shirts and stuff like that. And honestly, I feel like that's more appealing because I'm someone who I don't personally like decor as much, but I think having something that I can wear, that's kind of different. So people put it on like hats, they put it on t-shirts, hoodies, whatever. So if you're kind of interested in stuff like that, you can have like a lower level investment, like just printing it on, you know, high quality paper, or you can like, put it on something that's a little bit more costly, but still really nice quality, like t-shirts, hoodies, other types of apparel. 
Another thing I've been noticing a lot more, especially in 2023, is memory crafts. There's this one lady on TikTok. I cannot think of her name. If I can find it, I will, I will put her in the video. But she sells these, like, magnets. Like, she hand makes them and she, like, puts people's, like, photos, whatever they sent. She puts them in the magnets and then she sends them to them. And she's, like, making, like, thousands of dollars. Like, literally thousands of dollars doing that. And honestly, I don't know how she discovered this. Like sorcery but she is doing an amazing job shout out to her i've also seen people do other little things like i saw one lady yesterday she was making a diy stamp and i don't know the exact technique people were kind of hating on her but at the same time i mean obviously she's in business people are paying almost 200 dollars for them little stamps and honestly shout out to her too i follow both of those women and good for them if people ever want to discourage you for your crafts don't listen to them because people will buy it it doesn't matter what it costs but if people see the quality and then of course the hard work that goes into what you sell they will support you honey just be good to people be kind to people and things will pay off so again back to my point if you want to sell like memory related crafts i would definitely say get into it because those are very neat things like that tend to be sold at like a higher price point like again like pushing 200 at the lower side but i mean people really like stuff like that another thing is bookmarks especially magnetic bookmarks that's kind of new to my radar like bookmarks have been around for a long time i've seen even like children sell like little paper bookmarks I and mean, you can make a hustle off of that but i would say if you want to get into a business i would say look into ways to make higher quality bookmarks maybe having nicer paper or maybe getting like an elimination machine doing stuff like that because i think once you get to like a certain point people don't just want like copy paper type bookmarks that's something that again is a low investment you can get into it without really losing a lot of money then it's also just fun to make i think another thing about bookmarks is that you don't always have to have like a certain standard product for example if i wanted to just make any type of random design i can just have like three random designs put it as like a three pack for however much people will buy it bookmarks are just very fun especially for like book lovers it's just fun oh, a nice way to like accessorize your hobby another thing are cards so this can be holiday cards it can be i'm thinking about you cards i forgot exactly what they're called postcards stuff like that people love stuff like that i've seen a lot of stationary businesses sell stuff like that i think a lot of small businesses they like to go more for like humor you know when you go to like dollar tree or whatever of course you have like the funny cards but you have a lot of serious cards you know very uh grandma-esque type cards <laughs> but when you have like small businesses you know some small businesses they use profanities <laughs> some small businesses they like make funny jokes or stuff that's like more relatable so i think if you want to get into that that's a very simple way to like have your art in like a, a way that is less serious but it's also very appealing to your audience and then on top of that like as long as you're not selling it for too 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 much i think you can get like a good profit off of that because people will buy something that's high quality and funny Lastly, I want to discuss clay crafts. So I've been seeing clay crafts for years. I actually want to get into it myself for my small handmade jewelry and craft business. I've seen a lot of clay crafts, people making little bowls or pencil holders, just like little clay like friends, like things to put on your desk and, and stuff like that. And I've seen people sell for a whole variety of prices. I've seen a minimum of like 30 something dollars. But honestly, if you know what goes into making clay, like takes a whole lot. So for people to to really like sell them i don't think it's ridiculous to pay like 50 dollars for something that took hours and hours and hours to make so i would say those are like very fun crafts to make and i think it's nice it doesn't have to be perfect but it's like people love a good handmade item the only thing about that is i would say be a little bit more intentional about showing your process behind the scenes or again just marketing yourself because again when people look at that price point of like oh why am I paying like $40 for a mug when I can get one cheap at like Dollar Tree? People are going to say stuff like that, but I would say if they see what goes into it, people will buy it. And again, people who really want to support you, support you no matter what. Those are actually all the points I have for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys ever want to try any of these ideas, let me know. I will definitely support your small business or your hobby or whatever the case may be. And with that being said, you guys have an amazing day and bye.